baby. Yeah, left foot, right foot. All right, check it out. There you go, relax. Oh, Tito, you danced divinely. He's cheating. Latino characters in Disney movies? Oh, well, one comes to mind. The Chihuahua. And that's about it. Taco Bell, Disney? Why can't they not represent us as Chihuahua? What's this thing with Latinos being dogs? The, the hustle and the dance and, you know, there's these gorillas that sound like, and orangutans that sound like black people who want to be like men but will never be men. The buffoon. I want to be a man, man cub. The Lion King, the hyenas, uh, clearly spoken kind of street in a city African American dialect, and they were considered to be the bad guys. I thought things were bad under Mufasa. What did you say? I said Mufasa. Uh, I, I said the uh, Kepasa. They made an identification of them with uh, inner city minority people, uh, particularly blacks, and so they were sending a message to the audience, to kids watching this film, uh, that was not so subtle. has very, very few Asian or Asian American characters in their children's films. And that's probably why the cyan and cat really stand out for me. If you look at those cats very carefully, they clearly have um, those stereotypical Asian features. They have slanted eyes, the buck teeth, and the very heavy accents. They are also depicted as uh, cunning, sinister, and manipulative. China is portrayed as probably the most sexist and oppressive society in all Disney children's films. And women have no value at all if they don't get married. And the interesting thing is, uh, this matchmaking interview, interview, the movie, actually did not really exist in China. The merchants are unfriendly, they're mischievous and brutal. One merchant tries to chop the hand of the princess because she takes an apple, which goes against Islam. In Islam, you are obliged to feed someone if they are hungry over and over again. And that's what devout Muslims do. That's what devout good merchants do. And only in Saudi Arabia, if you are a thief, a real thief, and after three warnings and three convictions, if you steal something, is the hand removed. In one country. You know, with a population of a few million. And yet they opted to use that scene. It a lot of children come to Plymouth Plantation and visit our Wampanoag home site, and the children think that all Indian people hit their faces and go woo, woo, woo. The other is that all Indian people ride on a horse and have headdresses on with lots of feathers, and that they all live in teepees. Also, there's the, you know, sitting cross-legged with your arms folded and you have to look like this and children, and very often Native people are portrayed as saying, ugh. And when young children purport to dance and sing the way they see Native people do, they'll jump all around and kick their feet and flail their arms and have no idea what they're doing. What they are doing without realizing it is making fun of us.